Hey everybody, welcome to another Goody Reader video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we're going to review the new Texter Beagle. This is a very low cost e-reader. We've heard prices anywhere between $13 to about $39. And we're going to show you the hardware, software, and everything else. This is going to be a very comprehensive video. First of all, you can look at the screen here. It's five inches. Uh, the resolution's 800 by 600, and it is displaying eight levels of grayscale with the batteries, which this runs on, and we'll show you that in a moment. It weighs 128 grams, and it weighs 111 grams without the batteries. Really, I mean, it, when you look at this, it's it's super basic. You see an LED indicator light here, but Peter's going to give you the full hardware overview. Super, super basic. You have three buttons, left, right, and the middle button, which acts as an OK to go into a book, and a back button to go out of the book. This is the home menu. Your home menu is a carousel of books that runs left to right, but you don't really see anything else but that. LED indicator light indicating Bluetooth connectivity on. We'll show you that in a sec. You'll notice that the back is off, and we'll show you why, because we have the batteries down here. It does run on batteries, but this allows it to have the longest battery life of any e-reader, uh, boasting one year. That's uh, quoted by Texter. They have a one-year battery life. Incidentally, the batteries actually come with the unit. Yes, exactly. And they're not just any run-of-the-mill battery. They are Energizer Ultimate Lithium batteries. So they are as mainstream as you can get for batteries. The back plates will come in several different colors. It's uh, very difficult to put on, as we've seen. So. It uh, takes a little bit of working into there because there's about nine or ten different tabs. And uh, it, it goes on, though, very difficultly, but there we go. Power button. If uh, you press it, turns it off. Press it again, turns it on. Pressing and holding it activates Bluetooth connectivity. And that's pretty much about it for the hardware. Speaking of uh, Bluetooth connectivity, you'll notice that there is no micro USB or mini USB cable. There's no ports at all. Right. So the only way to add content to this is using a smartphone or a tablet. Now, before we tell you how to load ebooks on here, you, like Peter said, you can scroll on the carousel here. And then when you find a, a book that uh, you want to read, you can press the center button. And then and click here. Every page you turn will get this e-ink refresh. Uh, there is no settings to customize line spacing, fonts, margins, uh, to make the text itself larger and smaller. So really what you see here is really what you get. Um, there is really no way to do it. But if you hold down on this key, you can scroll farther in a book. So this is a way, but you can see that books don't actually have page numbers. There's no real indication mm. on how much percentage through the book you are. You just have to gauge that this is 100, this is 0, and the middle is 50, and just kind of work from there. Right. So as far as e-readers go, this is the most very basic reader we've ever seen. There's not even a table of contents. Right. But when you're talking about buying an e-reader for anywhere between 13 and $39, you're not going to expect much, but actually, this actually surprised us on. It's very light. It, it weighs next to nothing. Uh, it actually looks pretty slick. I mean, the form factor. It's 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 a unique design, and it is light. You can hold it like in one hand, but unfortunately, when you're reading, you can't switch orientations. No. So there's really no advanced features. Really, when we open up the book, this is your ebook experience. Correct. Now. You might be thinking to yourself, well, how do I load books on here? It's actually a bit of a complicated procedure. They say it should take 10 seconds to do, but it took us about an hour to fully set everything up. And so we were joking about that. So we're going to show you next how to load ebooks. As you can see here on the left hand side now, we have the Texture Beagle, and on the right hand side here, we have uh, the Amazon Kindle Fire 8.9 HD. With the te you need to download first the official Texter app. Now you can do this from the Google Play Store, or more, I guess with the Amazon Kindle because the Texter app is not available here. We downloaded it from our own Goody Reader app store. Now here's something very important to note. Now 
we tried connecting, as it said in the um, user manual, uh, it said you must connect the texture beagle with a smartphone. So I grabbed a smartphone. This is a Japanese smartphone. Uh, it is Android and it is uh, 2.3. Um, and it is an unmodified version of uh, Android, but you'll see here there is no setting to link with the Beagle. And if you look at the user manual here, it's kind of hard to make out, but it does say transfer to Beagle. So we then looked online uh, under some little bit of research and we found out that you have to utilize a device that has Android 4.0 or higher. So anything below 4.0, if you have 3.0, 2.3, 2.1, it will not be you will not be able to transfer books to this. You have to have a device with 4.0 or higher. And both for video purposes and Android purposes, we used a Kindle Fire because it comes off great on camera and it is at running Android 4.0. Yeah, so if you don't know the Android versions, it's basically anything with ice cream sandwich or jelly bean in any of the iterations. So when you download the texture app to a non ice cream sandwich or jelly bean, you won't actually see uh, any of the texture beagle pairing options. But when we loaded it on our Kindle Fire, we were presently pleasantly surprised to see an option here for Beagle. And so, as you can see, there is no option on the phone. Right. So the first thing that you want to do when you want to do this for the first time is you have to pair the Beagle with your smartphone or tablet. Now, it's very important to note that you don't want to pair it with the, the normal Bluetooth procedures, you know, on Android where you could, you know, swipe down and then you turn on, you know, Bluetooth. And normally when you want to pair things, this is how you do it. Right. But you don't want to do it this way. No. You only want to pair it within the texter app. Right. If you do try to do that and pair it with the tablet, it will not function properly. You do actually need to pair it with in this application utilizing Texture Beagle and then pair to Texture Beagle. Okay. But as you can see, we're already currently paired to this. So to to now we want to copy books over because we, we've paired it and everything. So what do we have to do on the Beagle? There's only one thing you have to do on the Beagle when you're ready to start transferring books over on the Kindle Fire or similar of any Android device. There's the uh, 4.0 or higher, mind you. There's the power button. Don't just press the power button. This will turn off the texture. You want to press and hold it for three to four seconds, like so. One, two, three. And then the blue light appears, indicating Bluetooth connectivity. Now it says waiting for books. Now, if we, press you know, using the texture app here, if we long press on a book, it'll say send a texture beagle. So we're going to click on that. And because, and if you're just joining us now for the second half of this video, this device has no cables, ports, or SD card slots at all. Bluetooth is the only way to connect this device. And as you can see here, we have the book right here, White Fang, from the uh, Kindle Fire, and we're reading it. So that took a matter of seconds. Totally. So in the end, um, the Texture Beagle's a very solid e-reader. I mean, for the price, and it's actually not really even available right now. No. It's, it's very hard to get. We were one of the first uh, websites that Texture had actually sent this review unit to. So it's not officially on sale yet, but we'll do our best to try to make this available in North America as soon as possible via Shop e-reader. So if you want to just get your hands on this for testing purposes, I mean, the way that I see this is even if it costs like under $40, this is the perfect thing to take on vacation, to give to the kids, uh, to, you know, bring it when you're mucking about outside and you're not going to feel too bad if you break it. Whereas if I take this Kindle Fire HD outside, drop it or, on the beach, yeah, <laughs> I mean, or take it to the pool and Aww. water splashes from someone doing a cannonball, I'm going to be choked yeah. with this. It's fairly durable. I'm not going to be too upset if any environmental things happen to it. But it does its job. It's a very bare bones e-reader. Um, once you understand how you need ice cream sandwich or jelly bean on a smartphone or tablet in order to send books over via the official texture app, you should be good to go. Right. I mean, there is no way to get apps on this either by cables, ports, slots, 
anything whatsoever. Internet connectivity doesn't exist on this. There is only one way to get books onto this device, and it is via Bluetooth. I mean, it's not every day you see uh, e-readers with Bluetooth, but, I mean, that's pretty much all this has is, is that going for it. But definitely, all things considered, considering the price especially, it is a great, great value. You are getting uh, the, the most bare-bones e-reader that they make out there. Let us hear your thoughts. This is unlike any other e-reader that we've ever reviewed before. So you can leave a comment on this video at youtube.com slash good e-reader and check out our YouTube channel with hundreds and upon hundreds of other e-reader uh, videos, reviews, previews, unboxings, and so on. And uh, make our website, goodyreader.com, your number one destination for uh, e-reader news, previews, interviews, and everything else under the sun. And for a review of the new Texter Beagle, for goodyreader.com, my name is Michael. My name is Peter. And everybody take care.